Hey everybody, Keith Brown, Tack Room Devotional. It's Monday, and we are going to continue from where we left off last uh, Friday and Saturday, actually. And uh, we're talking about being in Him. Now, our passage comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30 and 31, that says, But of Him you are in Christ Jesus. If you're a born-again child of God, you are in Him. You are one with Him. Just like a husband and wife, the two become one flesh. The same thing with us. And, and by the way, the Bible in Ephesians talks about it being a mystery. It's hard to understand how that happens, but it's a mystery how the two become one. And what it is is our lives are fused together. Our personalities start to change. Our, 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 um, our identities change. Everything changes because we are fused. Our lives are fused together. Well, it's the same thing with Christ. We become... Um, Christ. We put on Christ. We have the mind of Christ. We're the body of Christ. We're the, the uh, bride of Christ. All of these things happen when we put him on, when we become one with him. So, but of him, you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, that it is written, he who glories, let him glory in the Lord. See, all of the glory goes to God. Amen. But we have become, because we are in him, we have become, or we have the wisdom of God, we have become his righteousness, we are sanctified, and we have redemption. If you did not hear the messages from last week, please go back and review them. There's some pretty powerful stuff, and we talk about the foundations of our faith. Things like faith and grace. You need to understand faith and grace. And we ended up on Friday and Saturday talking about a shaking that's going to take place. And it comes from Hebrews chapter 12. And it, it talks about there's going to be this great shaking. And it's not going to just shake here on earth. It's going to shake clear into the very, uh, uh, into the heavens, right? And, and if our foundation isn't firm, because it, it says there that the things that are made, the, the things that ma are man-made, like, based upon our self-righteousness and stuff, it's all going to crumble. So our foundation has to be on the rock, which is Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, so today, um, let's, let's, um, I, I want to talk to you about the gospel of grace. And once again, because this is foundational, I want to make sure you see these passages, and I'm just going to read them, uh, and you need to study them. For instance, Acts chapter 20, verse 24 says, But none of these things move me. Now this is Paul writing. None of these things move me, nor do I count my life dear to myself, so that I may finish my race with joy, and the ministry which I received from the Lord Jesus, to testify to the gospel of grace of God. In other words, Paul says, I'm going to teach this gospel of grace. I'm going to teach this gospel of the favor of God. You can walk in the favor of God. You can experience the favor of God. And once again, last week I told you, there's, there's grace. It's available to us. It's, it's, it, it makes things available. But now you and I have to learn how to take from, from grace. And that's with our faith. And again, if you don't understand that, go back and watch uh, the videos from last week. Romans chapter 1 verse 16 and 17 say this, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also for the Greek. For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Do you hear the foundation there? It talks about grace. It talks about righteousness. It talks about uh, grace. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 21, for since in the wisdom of God, see there it is, uh, he made the wisdom of God available to us, for since in the wisdom of God, the world through wisdom did not know God, it pleased God through the foolishness of the message preached to save those who believe. Once again, this is foundation. This shows the foundation. We have the wisdom of God. We have the mind of Christ. In fact, um, 1 John chapter 2, verse 20 says, We have an, an anointing from the Holy One, and we know all things. Why? Because we have the wisdom of God. Okay, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 29 says, That no flesh should glory in his presence. Once again, this is very, very foundational and important for us to know that we cannot glory in any of this. 
All the glory goes to God. Why? Because we are in him. Matthew chapter 16, verse 13 through 19. This is very, very important. I hope that I can get through this because I'm about out of time. It says, when Jesus came into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples saying, who do men say that I the son of man am? So they said, some say John the Baptist, some Elijah and, and others, Jeremiah or one of the prophets. I'm going to stop right there for today. But notice what it says. He says to them, but who do, um, he says, uh, who do men, other men say that I the son of man am? So he's not talking to them. He's saying, who do they say out there? Who do they say that I am? And then, of course, they say, some say John the Baptist and so forth. The next question is going to happen is, who do you say that I am? And I'm going to leave you with that. We'll pick this up again tomorrow. Who do you say that I am? Jesus is saying that to you right now. Who do you say that I am? I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.